today we're going to go into the beginning, the very beginning actually, of uh, Beethoven's scherzo from his second symphony. I wanted to take this piece and, and show you how you can uh, tackle it from a technical point of view, how we can break it down and uh, what the technical challenge that we can make for ourselves is in this in these first 16 bars of the scherzo. Hello everyone, I am Giovanni Grillo, I'm a composer, conductor and welcome to Conducting Bills. This channel is all about classical music and conducting technique in particular. If you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them down in the channel. And now let's go with Beethoven. What is the first thing that comes to attention? First bar, dynamic. First bar, forte. Second bar, piano. Third bar, forte. Fourth bar, piano. Piano, piano, piano. Fortissimo subito. And then again, the same uh, 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 the same pattern, the same combination applies. If we break this down, we have the first, let's just look at the first violins part, right? Uh, first violins, first bar, long note, then piano and short, and on top of that is all the way an octave and then some higher. Now, when we think of, of a way to conduct that, the most obvious thing that comes to mind is it's one, 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 one. Now, while this will certainly work, it's also redundant and it doesn't really show anything about the music. So how about we start showing something about the music from the very first bar. Let's start with the length of the note. We also have, we have a long note, we have a dynamic. So we can use a little bit larger of a gesture. What we can do is we can position ourselves in a way that the first gesture, that the second gesture actually comes as a rebound of the first. If you look at my gesture, the rebound allows me to come here and to stay here, to remain here for the piano. And then we take the gesture. Coming towards me, it, I, I allow myself enough space to do again the same movement. Now, bigger rebound for to prepare the fortissimo and zapapa, another rebound. So, because you, you're gonna have to land on a forte again, Bam, beep, 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 same thing, beam, papapa. Pa, 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 pi, pa, pi, pa, pa, pa. The last, the second to last bar again has a rebound to get the fortissimo. And so on. We can um, stress a few more things here. We begin with forte, piano, forte. Then it's fortissimo and then it's forte again. If we really want to show the music even more, that gesture for the fortissimo can have a longer stroke. And this will make a difference with the one that comes after and the one that came at the beginning. That's up to you. It also depends on how much you want to enhance in order to, to underline that uh, um, that fortissimo. What happened so far? I've only used one hand and actually technically that's all you need. Now when you practice this, I would certainly practice it with one hand, I will also practice it the same thing with the left hand. Remember the left hand needs to be able to do what the right hand does. If you want to have some more fun, some more variety, you can split the jump between left hand and right hand at some point, for instance, by catching the horn horns or catching the oboes. Now, let's do it once slowly. You can also choose not to do it 
let's say you have the, the horns over there, sitting over there, then pim pa 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 pim pa 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 you can just simply go towards them, keeping with the right hand. Pim pa 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 pim pa pa pa. Just move from here to here, just a little bit. It's enough enough to connect with them visually. You have the baton in their direction, and uh, and that's it. And then you can reserve the left hand for something else uh, that's coming in later on in the piece. There's two things that you can do here uh, to do the simple technical practice. Of course, slow it down. Conducting, studying conducting and studying when you study something technical about conducting is exactly the same as studying something technical about when you, when you play an instrument. If you have a passage on the piano, on the violin, on the trumpet, but on any given instrument that you're trying, uh, you're not trying it the first time in tempo, especially if it's a fast uh, uh, tempo, right? So what do you do? You slow it down, and especially if there's a bar or two bars or three bars where you find yourself a little bit uh, in, in, uh, in a difficult spot. You slow it down and you rehearse it, you try it out slowly. And then you gradually increase the tempo. This is the same thing. You cannot expect right away sometimes, most of the time actually, especially when you're beginning, <coughs> for your body to react immediately uh, to uh, any of this. So unless you decide to do one, 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 one the whole time, then uh, you gotta do it, you gotta start a little slow. And you can put a metronome instead of starting at, no, on a metronome of 100, as <laughs> Beethoven has there, start lower and go slowly. Pim, pop, 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 pim, check that you're in position, check that nothing is tensing or is tense, check that your, your, your wrist is free to move, check that you, you feel the resistance of the sound in your baton in the long movements, that how you, that's how you move the sound from one point uh, to another, so that you don't end up doing something like meaning being ahead of this, getting ahead of the sound, getting ahead of yourself and getting ahead of the sound. That is detrimental. It still works. The orchestra will still understand. That's not the point. The, the orchestra will understand almost everything and anything. And at some point, they'll, they'll, what they don't understand, they'll make up. So they'll, they'll fill in the blanks. Uh, so that's not the point. We're not here just for the basics of being understood. That is the most elementary stuff. The orchestra doesn't need that. For that, if they wanted that, they could put a metronome up, up there, being tuck, 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 <clears throat> and just go with it. What they need is for you to show them the music and to show them a direction of the music uh, that you're conducting and that they're playing. You do that by influencing the sound. You do that by being connected to the sound. In order to be connected to the sound, you have to feel and to move the sound from point A to point B. And you can't do that if you don't feel the sound on the tip of your uh, baton. And as I said, you can try these different exercises to do that. Break it down, long, pin, short. Just, just a click from the wrist. Pin, pa, 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 again, long, pin, again, short. Pop 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 rebound pop 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 longer shortissimo and then we start again thank you for watching i hope you find this useful and if you have any problems let me know in the comments for instance if you have uh, an issue with an upbeat just comment with upbeat and of course if you haven't done so yet don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you will get notified every time a new video comes out. You can see many more videos on the channels, of course, but you can also look on my website for written analysis, uh, conducting tips, and many more technical videos. Till next time, have fun with music, have fun with conducting, and be kind to yourself. Ciao.